Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, time right now, 445 on your Thanksgiving morning. Uh, Matt, what are we thinking for today? Pretty quiet weather. Pretty quiet and it's dry, no travel issues, and uh, we're looking pretty good actually. Temperatures will be right around average, and we're looking at some rain tomorrow, but I did go ahead and pull a couple of Thanksgiving stats for you, at least for the Burlington area. Forecasting a high of 41 today, our average high is 43, so right around where we should be. The warmest Thanksgiving on record was back in 1941. We had a temperature of 63 degrees. The coldest on record just four years ago, we had a high of just 14 degrees. I'm sure many of you remember remember that one. I was in Connecticut for that and it was only in the lower 20s, even all the way down there. The snowiest on record in Burlington, 1971, where we had 8.6 inches of snow. Nothing like that today. We're dry all day today. Just off to a chilly start, especially out in the Adirondacks. 11 in Saranac Lake, 19 in St. Johnsbury, 26 in Plattsburgh, 28 in Burlington. Here's Storm Tracker. All clear, no precipitation, just a couple of stubborn low clouds hanging out over the northern parts of the Champlain Valley. But again, we should mix a good deal of sunshine shine in there later today, but tomorrow we are focused on this little system gathering moisture out in the Midwest and the Southern Great Plains. It will come through with some rain showers, even mixing in with some mountain snow at times could impact some outdoor plans for that tree lighting on Church Street. But again, like I mentioned, we are dry today. Again, here's that sunshine mixing in by 1230 temperatures hanging out right in the uh, upper 30s to around 40. And we should see some passing clouds overnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, all of us are socked in in the overcast skies. Here comes that round of rain showers by 730, already making its way into St. Lawrence County. And here it comes midday. It's a pretty quick mover, so I think by the evening it's mostly out of here. However, see the blue mixing in in the higher elevations. That's some mountain snow showers, which could linger into the evening. In fact, there could even be some festive flakes flying on Church Street when they're lighting up that tree. Not expecting any accumulation, but nevertheless, it would be kind of a nice sight to see. Now, those flurries continue into Saturday morning and they should start to move out of here. So we are expecting a nice dry and bright day on Saturday. Temperatures in the low 40s and lots of sunshine, but then we turn unsettled once again into Sunday. I do think most of the daylight hours on Sunday are dry, but you will have a round of rain moving in later Sunday around 3 or 4 p.m., which could certainly impact travel plans for those of you headed back home from Thanksgiving. Not expecting really any snow with this, so that's the good news. It will mix with and change to snow in the mountains on sometime on Monday but it should stay mostly rain here in the valley, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Here's your plan today, though. Staying dry. We're getting into the 40s this afternoon with a, lot, a few breaks of sunshine. Staying dry this evening into tomorrow. The only thing you'll notice about today is that wind gusting up to 20 miles per hour, especially later this evening. Might make it feel a little bit chillier at times, but notice we have a lot of wet weather uh, in the 10-day rather than white, so temperatures staying a little bit mild in the 40s and 30s with several rain chances ahead. Surrey?